Hey everyone, I'm Nate from Hugging Face. And today, I'm gonna to show you how you can share TensorBoard training metrics on the Hugging Face Hub. If you find this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content like this. To get TensorBoard running remotely within your Hugging Face model repo, you just need to upload the TF events files used by TensorBoard to a directory named logs in your repo. Let's see how this works with Keras. Here, I'll quickly run through the denoising autoencoder example from the Keras docs that we covered it in the Hugging Face Hub Keras integration video, which I'll include a link to. The difference here is that I'll initialize a TensorBoard callback to track the training metrics and include it when we call autoencoder.fit. Once the model is finished training, we'll push it up to the hub. After that, we can see the repo we created, but notice it does not have the TensorBoard training metrics yet. That's because we didn't upload them. Let's go back and add them. When we push the model, a directory named after the model ID we, we specified was created. We'll just copy our logs directory from the TensorBoard callback into that directory. Now we'll use git add, git commit, and git push to upload that new directory to our repo. Now that that's finished, let's take a look at our model repo again. And after it loads, we'll see that a remote version of TensorBoard is in our repo when you click the training metrics tab. These links are shareable, which means that you can send your results publicly or privately to your teammates, so you always have access to both your training metrics and the associated model. So that's how you add TensorBoard training metrics to the Hug and Face Hub. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also join our Discord server to connect with over 3,000 other people interested in machine learning. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.